For more than 20 years, Walnut Street Gallery and its founder, Lauren Fedorowicz, have helped people and organizations in Worcester and Wayne County preserve cultural heritage, family heirlooms, and Ohio historical documents. So Walnut Street Gallery was established on April 1st, 2002. I had received a phone call from the gentleman who had owned the gallery, and when he called me, he asked me if I wanted to buy the business. And truly, because it was April Fool's Day and we were acquaintances, I kind of thought it was a joke. So he invited me down to the gallery and we walked around and I said, yes, I'm going to buy it on the spot. So on a handshake, I bought it that day, changed the name to Walnut Street Gallery and opened my doors a few weeks later. Since its founding, Walnut Street Gallery has become a gathering place for Worcester's creative community, while also giving professional artists from Ohio and beyond the opportunity to display and sell their work. Lauren likes community. Her gallery is a welcoming place for artists and art lovers to meet informally and interact. And she's kind and community-minded. And this was really exemplified for me with the fact that she has all these different people's art displayed in her shop. As an artist, I know what it feels like to have your art displayed in a gallery. And I want to pass that feeling along to other artists. I've been an artist for over 25 years and I've had a lot of people help me. And I want to help artists also. And I want them to be able to come in the gallery and see their art on display. And I want them to come in and watch people appreciate their art and purchase their art. I want to repay in kind. She's an accomplished businesswoman in the community and people go to her quite often as the first choice for artwork and cultural resources as well. Lauren has a vision for what artwork should look like, which is almost prescient. She's able to take this piece of work and through a carefully selected arrangement of different colors of stacked frames, she makes it look almost like the frame was part of the painting to begin with. The results can be arresting or calming, depending on what she's trying to achieve. I think it's really important that children and their art see their items displayed and their creativity. I think it's important for children to understand that the art is important, that it comes from within, it evokes an emotion, and we want to engage them and sh let them know that their work is important. Culturally, um, it's about preserving heritage. It's about preserving history. Um, it's about education, again, carrying the story forward. And historically, it's about preserving important art, especially 19th century portraits that are important to Worcester and Wayne County. And um, we want that history to be carried forward. And we want to do it in a way where it's also protected. And that's where the art of picture framing comes in. And it's the art of display. It's the art of preserving memories. Um, it's the art of telling a story. And I think picture framing does that because it can be a showpiece. It can be a piece of history. It's preserving memories. It's letting the story carry on. And when you put something on a wall or on an easel back on a shelf, it's something to talk about.